But you see what's in uh, number 57 there? What do you mean? That's where we're no going. No way. No <laughs> way, man. What the f He's hardly here, is he? Is he? No way. Yeah, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Hey, man. What's up, man? How are you doing? You okay? I feel a little bit sensitive. Nice you. you all right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you do, man. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah, good, yeah. man. I know. I've had a surprise for you, mate. How you doing, man? You all right? Nice to were you not expecting this? No, I was saying that. I thought I was getting breakfast or something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, welcome to the studio, man. You're welcome, yeah, you're welcome, yeah, of course. Uh, I'm, not sure, I'm, I'm not sure what to get uh, in my head, but. Mate, sure do we will do all that. You, yeah. you just take five. And yeah. then, uh, I'll just do whatever you want to do, man. No worries at all. That's a good little surprise. How did you manage well, to keep that quiet, mate? I, I was like, ah oh, man, the, the best breakfast is down here, I swear. My God, walking through Bethnal Green thinking, where the hell am I going here? What's going on? Saying that though, Billy's Cafe is amazing afterwards though. Right, so right, right. I would head there right. afterwards, mate. Yeah, for yeah, sure, yeah. You, it's really good. How are you? This is Liam. Nice Liam. Li you, it's me, this is all you'll see. It's just me and Liam. I started watching the YouTube videos like a year ago. Nice. And uh, yeah, I just I just love all the, all the, they're just very intricate. And yeah. once I saw here, once I saw Regal, I was like, I'm in good hands. <laughs> Well, I'll give you a little run through yeah, of how we yeah. do it. So this is all on camera, okay? Perfect. So the only thing we do where it's sort of staged is the before shot where we spin you around. Perfect, Everything yeah. else is, I, yeah, I, I is done. Yeah, that, yeah, that's the only thing. Yeah, we do, unfortunately, we don't have anyone who does the spinning for us. It's still me. I'm still doing this. Yeah, I'm still doing all this, you know? So we, 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 haven't, we, haven't, we haven't lost our roots, you know what I mean? We haven't yeah, lost touch with our roots. Um, and then, yeah, obviously everything else is just on camera. Oh, the is done. It's unbelievable, man. All right, man. That's yeah, crazy. of course, yeah, man, yeah. of course. I was like, this is like a once in a lifetime experience, but uh, yeah. It's cool, man. So whereabouts in Ireland are you from? We're from Mayo, we're from the, like, the very west. The very west? Oh, okay, okay, okay. there you go, man. Lower you down a bit. Okay. Good to go, yeah? Yeah, I'm ready. Alright guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman Studio. And today we've got Rob in the chair. How are you doing, Rob? I'm doing great, man. Good? Thank you very good, much. Good, good, man. So, what's the plan? What are you thinking? I'm thinking um, like a bit of a mid part, but I like the length. Um, I know there's a few split ends here and there, but um, yeah, I just like to take a little bit off. But mainly just going for that modern kind of mid part. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, so, you're saying you like the length, yeah? Where, like where, uh, overall? Overall, yeah, it's um, it's a little bit um, wispy. I know and it's a bit thinning, but okay, that's fine. Um, that's fine. But I like the kind of the the flow look. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, cool. Are you looking to have it more like brushed back, or when you say the mid part, is it more like it's not like the nineties kind of vibe? I was thinking, I was thinking nineties, but I'm not sure if my hair type's right. I was, yeah, I was just looking into it a little bit. Yeah, um, it, it is a fine texture, mm -hmm. so it might not drop as well as you want it to. Mm -hmm. Um, but. W so the only thing is there is that if you wanted to show the middle part off with your hair texture, you would be better taking the back and side shorter. Because the more length you have on top, the more it will stand out. Mm -hmm. Because of your hair texture, it will just it will just all fall into itself, if that makes sense. Okay, yeah. Um, so I, I probably would recommend you losing a tiny bit just to through the back and sides, just a little bit, mm -hmm. just to show off the top, just because of the way your hair texture is. That's all I'd say. But I'd still keep it like, still lengthen it and things like that. You know, obviously, okay. it still keeps some flicks going on and whatnot. But I just think if we were to able to keep the top um, more top heavy, mm -hmm. it would actually show it off a little bit more for you as well. Uh, that is why I would I would suggest as well. Um, but in terms of like sort of um, styling every day, what do you tend to do? Are you just, wearing products in here at the moment? Um, there's like a thickener I use. Okay. Um, not, nothing really else. Nothing over the top. Not over the top. Okay. What's yeah. your styling product? What are you got in today? Uh, it's like a thickener. Um, is this what it is? Is this just the thickener you've got just in it the now? Thickener yeah? I got in it. Yeah. Just okay. Sh shower and thickener. Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. Okay. So it's quite low maintenance then, I guess. Mm -hmm. Very yeah? low maintenance, yeah. Okay, well, yeah. let's keep it that way then. All right, cool. In terms of the length on the back and sides, if I was able just to take off, mm -hmm. because if you look at the moment, it's all very similar in length, right? Yeah. If you pull it out, it's not too dissimilar. The top's a little bit longer than the back and sides. But I think if we could just maybe shorten them a little bit so there still is like flow and movement to it, but just like it shows off this section here, that is what would really, really help me. It would kind of give you a bit more, you would see the difference in the separation. And the separation is what we call the flow. So yeah. you, it, when you see all that movement kind of falling back, it's it's where the, the disconnection sits in with in place. So there's a slight connection in there at a certain height, but there's also quite a bit of a big disconnection. And that's the thing that gives that flow. Mm -hmm. The disconnection just means that it's just separated from the top to the back and sides. Um, and that's how you get the flow, especially when you're working with different hair textures, you've got to kind of adapt that kind of flow technique to different hair. So for mine, it's different. You can connect all mine and mine would probably just show it off. When you've got, say, like a bit of wave in the hair, you have to sometimes do it a little bit differently. So that's the only reason why I'm thinking just a tiny bit shorter, nothing major, but just yeah. so that, just so you can see this a bit more than this. Yeah, if you know what I mean, like that, as I, you see straight on, would look nice. 
But yeah, I mean, you're pretty much there. It just needs, it, like you said, it's just a bit of a tweak. Mm -hmm. So let's let's tweak it all up for you. Let's, we're gonna give it a shampoo and condition to start with, and then we'll just we'll just tweak it all up for you. Perfect. Is that right? Yeah, that was great. Sweet yeah. man. Thank cool. you. You're welcome. Didn't need any photos. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy enough. Yeah, man, I'm, just, I'm sorry, I'm just taking it all in still, you know. It's all right, it's man. Crazy, man. Mate, take are, it in, man. Are you, do you usually get people that are, um, I don't know, kind of, kind of starstruck in the, in the way? No. No, really? I don't know. Do I? Do I, Liam? I don't know. Yeah, there's definitely been a few. I think, people, I think people shit it down a little bit. Yeah, they, they do. do. I'm, yeah. I'm trying my best to, but I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fucking do with it. <laughs> it's all right, man. It's all right. Right, so, um, going to start off here with the back and sides. So, it's all shampooed and conditioned. Um, and I, I, the reason why it's good, especially with um, with Rob's hair, is I've when it, as you see when he came in, look at the difference when it's when it's like kind of wet and washed. It looks different, you know what I mean. The texture seems different, and also applying the conditioner, it, it starts to even out the texture as well. So you know we left it on for the right right, right amount of time, but also it starts to make the texture of the hair the same. So when you're cutting it, it's not like you're wetting bits down that are only going to absorb the water. You've kind of put in like that kind of synthetic condition to Rob's hair. So when I'm cutting it, you've got the same texture. So it's much easier to get the flow more than if I was just to wet it down. Because if I wet it down, the top would still feel drier than the sides. It'd still be a different texture and you might not get the same finish. Starting off here, back and sides, and I'm just separating this. I'm doing a whole shoe section because I need this to be separated because we need the top to be separated from the back and sides essentially for this look. Um, this is what's going to give the best, best finish. Now again, we're not going to take an awful lot of length off, but as you can see, it's all very one length as you pull it out, right? There's not much movement going on here, right? So instantly it's just like long hair all over the back and sides. And what we need to do is we need to break that up. We need to kind of give that a, uh, a more, like I said, a flow. So the word flow, it's an interesting one I want to talk about because flow is a word that I've used for a long time. But it's very it's hard to kind of explain what flow is to somebody without using an image. So the way I would just explain it, if anyone's watching who doesn't know what a flow is, it's basically where you can see your finger marks as you run your hands through your hair. That's the way I look at it. That it's separation within the haircut. So when you run your hands through your hair, you see your hands like yeah. You know, for example, on mine, if I run my hands through my hair, you see the separation of my fingers, right? That's to run my hands through. My hair. That's what I that's that's what I want to give Rob. Okay, where you see that separation as you run your hands through. So it's, so starting off here, back and side. So again, we want, we want to take a bit of length off. So I'm going to use a two finger width section through here. Again, we start from the sideburn, not the temple, because that's like a little bit of no man's land here. That bit just is on its own. Now, so you start to see the difference in the haircut. So it's quite short at the bottom, a little bit more length up here. Now I just want to even that up. So it looks like I'm taking loads of length off, but if you think about it, the perimeter is going to stay pretty much the same. So it's still going to look longer. All this was going to do is create that separation, that flow that we're looking for. So as you can see, as you pull it straight out, as you get to the bottom, nothing's coming off. So the length looks the same. But all you'll start to see now is movement within there. Right, so see, there's the flow already in it. Now if you look at the other side, because of all the one long, long layer, I try and do that on this side just bunches together, you see? When you look at that side, you see the separation there. So it's almost, you don't even really need to texturize it if you didn't want to on the back and sides. Especially with Rob's hair, because of his texture of hair, I, I'm not gonna be able to texturize this too much because we haven't got the thickness there that we need. So again, texturizing is just removal of length in certain areas, that's what it is. Um, and uh, the majority of texturizing is anyway. So what, by doing this technique, is allow me not to have to over texturize it that the haircut we're doing now will give the look that we're trying to achieve straight away so if you if you if you see through this whole haircut i'd probably do everything based on the section and pattern i probably won't put any other texturizing in this at all now a lot of lens coming off through this bit here it doesn't matter because look i'm following the guide so this is the previous haircut i don't know why this was left in here not too sure there must have been a reason but for me right now i don't need this so by following the guide that i've created from the very start i don't need this amount of length through here so i still know it's going to work so again i know a lot of young barbers watch this channel and i know a lot of, i mean when i was a young barber i know people used to really struggle with they see loads of length and they think they've made a mistake because obviously you know if you see loads of length coming through your guide you think oh no have i gone too short in a certain place reality is no you haven't you know as you can see if you can still see your guide 
before you cut it from your previous section. So I'm pulling in a bit from the previous section into the middle and I pull that out, there's the guide. So yeah, loads of length coming off, but it doesn't matter because I'm following my guide. So it's all still gonna work. As you can see, look, all the way down, there's the guide still. Yeah. And as you can see, look, it still looks like the exact length of when he walked in. But again, we're just creating that lovely flow sitting in there now. Now look, I've got that flow in there now, both sides. So, I'm gonna take the neckline up a bit, but I wanna keep these little flicks on the here because I think what you see straight on looks really good for Rob. I like this kind of flick coming over here. I think that really blends in with the top. So I wanna take the middle down and keep some of the corners, see, keep some of this bit here through this kind of gap, which I think will look really nice for him as well. But it obviously they're just very wispy at the moment, so I wanna kind of strengthen them a little bit. It's there. And just connecting that little point we'll have. Just that little bit there. So let's just fix these little bits on the side ends over here now. These bits are just like kind of curly, curly bits on the side ends. I don't think they're doing anything to the haircut. I think they're just kind of not adding anything to it. I always find it strengthens it up a little bit more as well. And just take a section just to run alongside the hairline, like so. Just pull that over. Just strengthen that all up. See the little wispy bits there reaching to add a bit of strength in. So there's the shape for you, Rob, on the back and sides. So you still got a lot of length in there. You just can you see the shape starting to build mm -hmm. up now? Yeah. And the flow. If you turn your head to the side for me, see the way your hair just falls a bit easier than it was before when it was all just really long length. It's really much more better, yeah. Yeah, it's more manageable now, totally. And again, I know you want to keep the length as much of the length as you possibly can, but I also just want to make sure that's easy to manage at this length as well. All right. So I'm going to put the center part in at the moment. So obviously we're working to a center part, so I want to cut one in. So what I'm going to do is take a section right down the middle. Like so. So I'm going to take it on this section here. I'm going to create the disconnection, but by just removing a bit of length, we're still giving that sort of centre part look as well. So creating like a sort of triangular shape on this one. And taking away that little wispy ends there. And that will start to strengthen it instantly. And there's the guide that I've just cut. So again, not again, not loads is coming off. We're just trying to put the shape into it for them. And I'll wait this all the way round to the centre back. There's my guide, and I'm starting to get a guide from underneath now. And because we want to maintain head shape, straight out. And just hit that little bit off there like that. So, so you get a nice bit of connection into the crown. Now this is where the disconnection comes into play, okay? So from that centre part, instead of going into the corner, I pull this all the way over, and I connect in on the sides. So like I said, you've got a connection point. This is where the deck disconnection will form. And then little wispy bits at the end again. We're not taking loads off, right? And you get separation. So we can start to see now that the hair has fallen from the top into the sides as well. One finger width section just past the recession. Like that, pull this back to the section. 
same angle and just take away the wispy bits. Same thing again, come from the centre part and come right in to there, like so. We have the same kind of thing we have on the other side. All right, nice and straight. Now I always just do one section in to the previous, the back here, and just make sure that balances and blends. See, there's like two hairs, and that all connects. So as you pull that back, that will all connect in the back as well, like so. We have that connection. We also create that disconnection higher up. So I'm gonna take that um, that neckline up a little bit more as well in the middle. I feel like it still drops to a point too much for me. I'm gonna use the razor for this. Do that, just so we get a nice natural finish down the bottom. This is the only time I'm using the razor. And maybe I'll just shave the neck as well. Right, so let's dry this off now. So I'm gonna use a little bit of, um, I'll use a thickening uh, spray as well. That'll be nice. And uh, to kind of coincide what you're doing at the same time. Um, and then let me know how it feels after using that. And then we can go from there. Or right, whether you wanna use a style button top. Thing I am gonna add into your routine though, is a nice leave-in conditioner. Because if you're using anything with any heat or whatever like that, you always want to just try and condition the hair first, okay? Because it does feel quite dry, right? And this is a split end mender, this one. So this is, again, again what you kind of the, 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 the finer ends, the wispy ends. There could be a bit of damage, could be anything, right? Mm -hmm. We don't know yet. And all you do is wait this through the hair, like so, into the palm, like so. And I put that on first, because that's the bit that's going to absorb first, right? Then you put on your base product or your starting product, okay? So the base, they put, put on like the, the sort of, uh, the, the protection product first, or the thing that's gonna give the hair the health, then put your styling product on top. So put the leave-in conditioner on, and now I'm gonna put on some thickening tonic as well. And now I'm gonna spray this in. So the cover up, we focus on the front first, because that's where we need the height. So those little nifty gadgets that I tend to use when I'm on shoots. Right, so through the top first, okay? Like so, back in sides. Head down for me, buddy. I'm spraying this over, right? So as you can see, it's just going on top of the hair right now, right? And then, I'll wait this all the way through. And you can't be precious when you're applying product. You've got to kind of just get in there. The style's cut in, it's gonna stay in the center part. You can't, you've got to, you've got to get it get really stuck in, okay? Now, uh, I'm gonna finger dry this. Am I gonna use a diffuser? No, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a, a nozzle on this one. I feel like the diffuser will just bring out too much kale. I feel like the nozzle will give more thickness to it. All right. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why I'm asking you. <laughs> no offense, but I don't think you know the difference, would you? No, absolutely not. <laughs> that is, I do that, right? I talk out loud, right? And I'm saying it to almost, I'm almost looking at you, but talking to me. All right. Gotcha, yeah. You'll get used to that, mate. You'll notice it more now when you watch the videos. If Liam doesn't edit that bit out, you'll notice it more then. <laughs> Push your fingers, like push, push it on the scalp and push it towards the party. Okay. And that will give you a little bit of volume, like a natural looking volume. It's a good way of getting volume without using a brush. So it doesn't look like you've really yeah. kind of like looped it around, you know? Just push into the hair like so, and that'll just set it. Can you see one side to the other? Yeah. Kind of like a little bit, of, but it's not massive, it's not huge. It's just got that little bit of height in there, all right? Good little technique. Again, it's, I'm, I'm all about trying to make haircuts look nice with minimal effort. It's a bit of a, it's the challenge I, 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 I have took on, uh, took on myself, <laughs> just purely by accident, I think. And just use my fingers, just to add that separation, okay? Twisting and pulling. Now what you do, turn the hairdryer off, right? And right along the parting to dry it off, more than blowing your hair everywhere. Hold the nozzle above it, and then turn it on. And it'll keep it, 
and dry it either side. Just a little one of that. All that will do is just dry the parting in for you. But if you do it while the hair's on, the heat, while the hair dry is blowing, it'll just blow it all over the shit. Mm -hmm. So just turn it off, hold it above it, and then press it, all right? And then just fine tune. Again, so just want to get that part and set in there for you. Like so. So make sure you finish off with some cold air, just to set everything in and take away any frizz or any static or anything you can sometimes get, okay? Mm -hmm. So cold air button, press that. Now you just style into place. Now what I do is just to get that kind of 90s vibe. It's just all about the way the fringe falls separately, like so. Okay? So we kind of isolate that a little bit. It can fall if it wants to. Okay? And then to finish off, I'd use a bit of hairspray for this. Just because of the texture of your hair, right? Mm -hmm. What I would do is I put it on my hands and I'd start to use it like a product. Okay? Okay. Just put it into your hands and then work it through your hair. So that way, it keeps the flow in there. It's very hard to get the flow with a hairspray if you don't want the hairspray in. If you just spray it on top and then do it, mm -hmm. it doesn't really work. You're getting it actually into the hair now. So spray it onto your hands, work it into the hair, and that'll keep the flow in there for you, okay? So just a tiny little bit of finishing off, just for the front. So you can use, obviously I've got this, this is, this is good to stop it, but I just wanna get that through the top because I wanna keep that falling as it is, right? And then you can just use this to kind of tweak. So just on your fingers, just want to tweak these little bits here. Just have them to stay separated like that. And his vibe, but what you came in with. Happy? Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely, yeah. Let me show you the back. So that's the sort of the flow that you get. In fact, you know what? Hold that for me a second. Yeah, of course. It's probably even, even easier. If you hold that, I'll turn this round. I want you to look in that mirror to see mm -hmm. yourself in the mirror behind you. So the lighting's better. So you see yeah. the way you can see the, the flow, what I did with my fingers there. Mm. I didn't put any, this is purely just down to the, the cutting method. I didn't put any texture in this at all. I didn't point cut, nothing like that at all. That was just the way it was. And then I took the neckline up as well. So now you've got a bit more of a balanced neckline as well, more than it being like it was like down to like here yeah, before. Yeah, much cleaner. Yeah, much cleaner. And then you get that flow, but you also get the shape in there as well. So it all falls in nicely to, to itself on the other side as well. See you both sides. Yeah, that's perfect. Awesome. That's great, mate. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, Rob. Thank you, man. Glad you, uh, I'm glad you made it, isn't it? I'm glad you didn't go for breakfast now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that was awesome. Thanks, oh, man. Thanks so much, man. You're welcome, this mate. Is, Anytime. Uh, yeah, this is, I was suddenly, I was like, uh, I wanted to book with you, but there was all, it was, there's no um, availability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw busy, the option yeah. for the, for the YouTube video too, but I, I never clicked on it. I never even, I never even saw, man. You're crafty. You're crafty. Well, thank guy. him for that, mate. Yeah. He's got to, he's got to be your best man for everything. He's got to be <laughs> yeah. this. He's got to be the godfather of your kid do, now, though. Yeah. Everything, mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. name my son after, yeah. At least you get to know how to style your own hair. And if you ever go into a exactly. barber, you go, I want my hair done like yeah. this. Yeah, this exact video. It's exact video. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Awesome. Thanks, Rob. Cheers, mate. Thanks so much, mate. Thanks so much, guys. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure man. man. Pleasure, man. Thank you. Man. Thank you. Thanks so much, Liam. Appreciate it, man. Thank you as well, mate. There we go. My <laughs> phone's off this now. This is insane. There we go. I can't believe this. Nice, isn't it? This is insane, man. It's so, it's so sick, man, honestly. Thank you.